Hello there and thank you for finding me here at my YouTube channel Benidorm and Beyond. This is number 11 in my latest vlog series Benidorm Bites and for those of you who haven't yet caught the others, why not? These videos aim to show a mixture of footage and clips of your favourite resort on a regular basis, including viewers requests, news and information and things that I've found interesting or funny recently. So let's get started. Firstly today I'm giving you an update to a vlog I published exactly a year ago back in May 2021. This was following a viewer's question asking what was going to happen to the piece of land between the Hotel Brisa and the Oasis Beach Club Bar along the beachfront or Avenida de Madrid at the Rincón de Loix end of town. This piece of land had become wasteland since the three villas that had occupied the site were knocked down in June 2016. And incidentally, they were once lived in by General Franco's president of the Alicante province, José Martínez Alejos, who was a lawyer and politician and lived in the houses between 1939 and 1949. What I discovered last year was that the council had authorised the construction of a museum to create what they described as a classroom of the sea, along with a public garden on this prime frontline plot, which can be seen on the architect's impression of what it will look like when it is finally completed. The council says that the museum, or classroom, will recall memories of the maritime history of Benidorm, allowing people to look back into the past and discover the seafaring history of the town, which was of course the origin of this resort. The council were given 12 months to begin the building work, which then had to be completed in a further 12 months, and they were given the rights to the property for an initial term of 15 years, with an option of a further 15. Well, the latest news is that the work is now about to begin, just in time to make that 12-month deadline. And here you can watch some fresh footage that I have taken of the site. As you can see, the land has been completely cleared now, except for a few remaining trees around the perimeter, and new signage and fencing has gone up, warning about the roadworks and the salida de camiones, or truck exit, and that the site must be kept clear at all times. Back last year, I reported that this project was going to cost a total of €650,000. Well, a year later, the new information board that has been put up says it is now going to cost €745,000 instead, nearly 100000 more. Well, at least it's not only the price of eggs that have gone up here in Benidorm of late. As always, I will continue to record the developments over the next few months, then bring you a full update including the very latest footage in the future. My second item is just a quickie and shows an update to the infrastructure of a side road in the Rincon de Loix. After extensive work being carried out both along Calle Roma and Calle Londres in this area, the connecting road between the two, Calle de Berna, has now had a new pavement laid, making it easier for pedestrians to avoid the passing traffic, in turn making it less dangerous and a better surface to walk along in general as well. Just last week, new trees were planted along the length of the road too, and it is now looking a lot neater on the whole. With the Halley Apartments, which are situated along this small street, having been renovated in the last couple of years as well, now offering smarter, more modern accommodation along with a contemporary cafe restaurant, this neighbourhood has certainly upped its game and is looking fresh and new for the summer season ahead. Our third item takes us to the edge of the old town and a viewer's request to take a look at the Hotel Prince Park. Positioned at the very top end of Calle Primavera, close to the old town and just across from the bullring, this three-star hotel was built in 1971 and was extensively renovated in 2015. The hotel has 165 rooms over its 11 floors. As I don't know anybody personally at this hotel, I was unable to do a full information video on the site, but this footage shows you what I was able to record by just wandering about for a little while, including the beautiful views down to the Aguera Park and up to the surrounding mountains out of town, and also the lovely swimming pool and solarium area. 
In my opinion, I would describe the hotel as having a good location, as long as you don't mind a short walk to most places of interest. But it's certainly not in the main hubbub of the resort, so many people no doubt appreciate this. There is, however, a bus stop just on the main road behind the hotel, with buses running about every half an hour, which take you into the centre of town and then further along to the Rincon de Loix for a fare of just €1.55. The owner of the Prince Park Hotel apparently loves to collect artwork, and the rooms and public areas are decorated with quirky pictures by local artists. However, I also read that these areas were a little bland, so I guess that just depends on personal taste and preference. And let's face it, as the quote goes, you can't please all of the people all of the time. The hotel is currently ranked 72nd out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor, so by no means the best, but certainly by no means the worst either. And upon reading through some of the reviews, apart from the normal things that people complain about, the main positives were that the hotel was very, very clean, the staff were nice, and that the balconies were large. With the Prince Park to be found in a peaceful and leafy spot, I would imagine you could enjoy a very tranquil and pleasant holiday here. So I do hope this short piece helps my subscriber who requested it. And in fact, how any of you ever stayed there and have any opinions or recommendations about it, that could help. My fourth item is another quickie after a friend mentioned to me that a wall had been pretty much demolished at the very beginning of Avenida Monte Carlo, near where they live. I decided to give it a look and what I saw was that the wall outside this lovely whitewashed villa had been all but knocked down on the corner. Presumably by a car travelling down the neighbouring Calle Dorada at high speed and coming into trouble at the junction. What impressed me most, however, is that just a week later when I passed by again, it had been completely rebuilt and the brickwork matched up perfectly. Quite impressive for Spain, I have to say. Then again, this is probably more to do with the owner's work ethic than the local authorities. My fifth and final item is also at the request of a subscriber who seems fascinated by the upkeep and steam cleaning of Benidorm streets and has in fact asked many questions about this subject over the last year or so. Please don't ask me why, as I really don't know, and I can only presume it's either a personal interest or related to their job in some way. However, as I always aim to please, here is some early morning footage from Carrer Tomas Otoño in the very heart of the old town that I took just a few days ago. And as you can see, a very thorough job is being done indeed. I hope that you've enjoyed this latest instalment of Benidorm Bites with me. And if you did, I would ask that you please give it a thumbs up and like it. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. If you have only just found me here at Benidorm and Beyond, I produce informative, positive and above all original videos on a weekly basis about this town where I've lived now for over 20 years and also occasionally the neighbouring areas too. So if you'd like notifications of future vlogs, just hit the bell notification button and you'll be informed of any new videos as soon as I upload them. Also, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere that you would particularly like me to include in the future or investigate or have a question that you would like me to answer. And as always, I'll see what I can do. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Cheers!